Scott, that final play there, you had some problems, obviously, in batting the ball. Was Vucevic the guy you wanted Alfred to pass the ball into on that final play? Yes. Yeah. The, the play before, we had something else going on, and uh, they kind of took it away. And, um, you know, Alfred did the right thing, take a timeout. You know, we had a couple left, so uh, he did. We were able to you know, regroup. And, um, we didn't you know, intend for Vuce to shoot as far out as he did. Him out. That's where he got it. Took it, made it. Obviously, we've talked a lot about the late, the late game issues, but seeing the team fight through, fight through that, was that? Do you view that as a sign of progress? And in addition to getting going? Well, I feel like uh, you know, beginning to end, our, our uh, you know our overall defense was pretty solid against them, uh, uh, except for uh, you know the fourth quarter kind of offensive rebounds and the, and the threes. Uh, you know, we don't want to give up there, but, but a couple of them we gave up. Uh, but the main thing was the rebound. We just we, you know, we couldn't get a key rebound, you know. Uh, but overall, our defense was, was better than it has been. So you know, we'll take that as progress. And, uh, and and then we had some good you know, offensive production as well. From, you know, I mean, the starters were you know, relatively sharp. As far as the start goes, uh, Evan and Elford both appear to have really great starts to the game. Um, how tempted are you to keep that starting lineup tomorrow? Should Tobias be healthy and ready to go? Oh, I don't know. You know, we'll, we'll you know we'll look at it on the flight and, uh, and uh, you know just make a judgment based on that. It is, it is a team that uh, you know with two guys, uh, Corver and, and uh, um, Baysmore running around out there. You know, looking for threes all over the place. It's not an ideal game for Tobias. You know, but hopefully he can you know hurt him on the other end. So we'll just see how he feels and see how it goes. Scott, the, the job that uh, Aaron did on Nelsep, I think he blocked four shots and, and he blocked a lot of shots today. Can you just talk about the activity level on defense? Well, uh, during that uh, little stretch where uh, you know Aaron blocked a couple, uh, he was active on the weak side. Victor had a big block, came from the weak side, blocked a shot. Um, and so yeah, that's why I said earlier I thought I thought our you know, our overall defensive activity took a pretty significant uptick today, which is good. Um, you know, but yeah, during, during you know, that's what you need. When you need breakdowns, somebody's got to cover for you, and something we've struggled to do recently is kind of covering for each other. So those spots were big. Scott, I, I don't think you had a personal foul there until well, maybe that whole quarter you had a foul to give. The play where Alfred was getting posted up there by Horford. I guess it was a switch or whatever. Why not? Why not see him foul there? Is this a lesson that's going to get through to your players anytime so. soon? I hope so. We'll talk about it, show it, over it again. Uh, uh, but that's the exact right moment to take it. Uh, first of all, we don't want to switch there, so we don't want to stay out of that situation anyway. Uh, but we did, so yeah, that's exactly right. You know, if, if I give you that situation, that's exactly when you take it. As soon as he touches it, you just wrap him up. That's it. Scott came in late. Was, was Vooch an option on that, or was he third, fourth option there? Uh, no, he was first. We, we wanted to go into him. We wanted a little bit closer to the basket, but uh, 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 Horford, you know, uh, felt like he fouled him, but he, you know, he, he pushed him out pretty far. Uh, you know, with 2.2, .2, you, you have time for a pump fake if you want, even or something like that. But you know, that's Vooch's shot to turn around, and, and he was able to knock it in. Quick two-part question. One, to what degree do you hope that Alfred's fourth quarter will spark him out of this slump of his? And second, can you ascertain why he still seems a step, sometimes two steps slow uh, on defense? Uh, the second part, I, I don't have an answer for that. Uh, you know, the first part, though, yeah, I hope uh, you know that David Atlanta uh, puts Corver on on Alfred. You know, they start the game, and, and uh, you know that way, and they. they you know, they just played way off of him, so he was able to make him pay for it you know, tonight. We, you know, we needed baskets, and he stepped up and, and made new plays for us. So, of course, we hope it continues. We, you know, when teams play off of you like that, you got to make a pay somehow. And uh, he did tonight. How much did the 1 o'clock start help you guys today? You mentioned yesterday that it's about the same time that you typically practice, but how, did, how much did the start help? And how do you take any of those, I guess, good pregame habits into tomorrow night? I, you know, I don't think you ever know what the, what the start time did for guys, did or didn't do. Uh, you know, we came out and scored the ball really well early and just kind of found a nice rhythm. Uh, um, and they didn't. You know, they didn't early on. Uh, so, you know, I don't, I don't think you ever really know that. What we take in tomorrow night is just this is one of those unusual situations where the regular season you play the same team back to back. Uh, and, you know, we're glad we got the win today, but we'll look at
at it and see if there's any you know, adjustments we want to make. And maybe we may change a couple coverages or something. And um, it's, it's a good experience for you guys to do this to play the same team back to back. Last one, Phil. Uh, de defensively, you guys obviously got to such a good good start. Did, did the confidence of getting out to the lead, you know, making shots uh, making shots on one and getting stops on the other, did that help kind of set the tone for, for the rest of the game and kind of help the guys take control? Yeah, maybe. I mean, we, we felt like, uh, you know, it's another one of those games. We've had a lot of games like this this year where we appear to have control of the game and then all of a sudden in the fourth quarter, you know, the rebound you're supposed to get or you know, the three you're not supposed to give up or the foul to give you're supposed to take, things like that. We're, you know, we just haven't gotten it done. So we'll take the win. Uh, it's always better to teach after you win, and, and we'll also have some things we need to learn from tonight's game. Thank you.